going on everybody welcome to episode five of our inter milan career mode here on trophy hunter and today the tough games do not stop coming last episode we played milan which we won three nil lazio which we lost five three and then we won our sim two nil over sampdoria and then we were soundly beaten by barcelona three nil so today it doesn't stop we got juventus and then we've got Sassuolo, and then Dortmund in a massive game in the Champions League group, and then Parma. So what I think we're going to do, um, since we sim one a day, is we're going to play Dortmund, or we're going to play, yeah, we are going to play Dortmund. We're going to play Juventus, and then sim Sassuolo with the second team, so the first team is fit for Dortmund. And then we're going to play the Parma game and go about it that way. And then next episode, as you can see, Dortmund again. So these two games are absolutely massive, and we'll get to that. But for now... We have got Juventus, and as you can see, we've lost one game and won five out of our six, and we sit in sixth, so it's very, very tight at the top with some really good teams up here. Juventus, Roma, Napoli, Milan, Lazio, Inter. There are some really good teams up there and some other teams that are not too, too far off as well. Um, Torino, Bologna, Atalanta. Uh, there's some good teams in Italy, or they're all at minimum very good next to each other. Um, but we have a massive game here. We'll see how we do. We've played some big sides and haven't been keeping too many clean sheets. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with... Actually, we're going to try it for this game. The issue I felt like is that when other teams come forward, we're thin in midfield, which we only have the two. But we do have the five at the back. So I think what we're going to do is change this just a little bit. And... Um... We're going to go to instructions on Ericsson and uh, stay forward, come back on defense. And hopefully that helps out in midfield a little bit. He hasn't been, since we play wide, um, attacking fullbacks or attacking wingbacks, however you want to see. He's not necessarily running all over the pitch and his um, stamina has been pretty good. And uh, his energy at the end of games isn't crazy so if we can get him running a little bit more and getting back to help out that may help just a little bit but we'll see what happens and uh hopefully it's a uh, it's a positive change but let's jump into it an early game a massive game juventus inter let's go clipped in can we get the header away we can but Brella can't quite get up and get there and he hits that from distance that would have been an absurd, absurd goal, but Andanovic claims easily enough. Nicely done. Ronaldo coming forward. He's pushed off it a little bit. It's a good turn, and there's a bit of space here. And not the space we want. Does that come soon? Well, that's a good save. I thought we cut that lane off. Not so much, and I believe that's Kai Havertz who's had that hit. It's a good save nonetheless from Handanovic. And Juventus have started confidently. We haven't had too many shots so far, and Handanovic is making a really good save there. A bit straight to him, and maybe it was a made it look a little bit more dramatic than it was, but a save nonetheless. And that's come to the top of the box. Are we going to get there? No, of course not. He's going to walk to the side, and nobody's going to step up. I hate that so much. He's just moved over there, and that guy's moved back inside. I'm not sure if I was controlling him or not, but he's moved back inside, opened that lane. Kai Havertz, who's tested Handanovic a couple of times already, fires them ahead. And we have not made a great start here, and Juventus have taken advantage of that. It's 1-0 to them. Lukaku can play it forward to Eriksen. And Erickson can get it into Lataro Martinez. And can we level immediately? It's a great save by Chesney. Just before halftime, our first real kind of clear-cut opportunity, if you want to call it that, early on in this game, or in the first half of this game. Not early on. It's not early anymore. Brella, Brozovic. Get it forward. Nicely done. Can we get that through to Erickson? We can. And Erickson trying to get around here. That's surely a penalty. It is. And we are going to have an opportunity to level this up. Chiellini with the foul. It's a yellow card for him. And a big opportunity here for Lukaku to level this up here. And he has a hit, and that's straight. And I'm not sure how that's gone straight. I held that over, man. Have they redone the sensitivity here or what? Oh, it's right down the middle. He didn't dive. And an opportunity that big goes back begging and we cannot afford that against these teams coming forward here here's sandro 
it's hooked in. Can we clear it? Just, but it's going to come back to Juventus. Turns, Dybala, and no one's going to step up again. I'm sick and tired of the center backs not stepping up. And it's almost gone in again as we go ahead and eventually get it away with Asamoah. That is so annoying how that there's space there for him to step into. No one marking him or no problems in that area. And he doesn't feel like stepping up. Brozovic, Eriksson, one more. Lovely football here, and Erickson can get it out there to Lukaku, and Lukaku, that's a dreadful attempt. That's so bad from Lukaku. Oh, surely. <laughs> Come on, Lukaku. You gotta be a little bit better than that. A huge opportunity. Vecino almost loses it. Couldn't find a man, but we finally do here. Isaac gets it forward, and it's gonna come to Erickson, who takes a good touch, and Erickson, oh, what a finish! What a signing he's turned out to be already, and he's leveled it here with 30 seconds to go. It's 1-1. And <laughs> needed that at minimum today. And it's good football here. Isaac to Lataro, and that's a good touch outside. And that is a great finish as well. Chesney cannot get to it. This is a brilliant finish. That touch outside is so good as well. No chance whatsoever for Chesney. Always rising as well. 1-1. In the 90th minute, how big can that goal be to keep Juventus near us at minimum? They're three points ahead of us. And uh, that draw, or this draw, will at minimum keep us, you know, within that three-point, six-point gap early on is is going to be difficult to overcome. But we do grab a late goal and grab a late point here at home to the mighty Juventus Eriksson coming to our rescue needed to come to our rescue didn't he there but that was a much better defensively much better than the five we conceded at Lazio and the three at Barca so that Eriksson coming back has actually helped us quite a bit in this scenario which is uh obviously where we want to be but Eriksson of course grabbing the goal he's playing very very well in that cam spot since we bought him in it's very, very good signing for us so far, and hopefully he can keep that up. Um, Gagliardini disappointed not to play. Um, the next one here, we're going to play the the uh, backup team as they uh, as the first team is going to get ready for Dortmund. That's going to be a massive game, and hopefully we can go ahead and win this game as well. Squad rotation is important, Gagliardini. Um, I expect a great performance. Brozovic was worried about leaving. Or about, you know, losing his place. He's good now. But here we go. A big game. Sassuolo. I believe this game's on the Friday, actually. There are a lot of Friday games in Italy. And this game is on the Friday. Hopefully at home as we're going to sim it. It is away from home. It's going to be tough here with the backup squad. Hopefully they can pull off a win. It's going to be tough. We have some good players there, though. And a 3-1 victory. Very, very nicely done. Two for Politano, one for Lazaro. That is a good victory here. But now, the biggest game of the episode, I feel. We're going to need something here. We're going to need four points from Dortmund to get out of this group, period. So, a loss is... It'll just kill us, won't it? It'll put them on six. It'll put us on one. Barca probably will be on nine. We'll be five points back with three games to play. We just cannot afford to do that and our scouting report has actually come back um, both of them one from Venezuela and one from Slovakia from the lad who wanted it there nothing here we'll see if we can find some players I only actually pick up players that have 94 potential and who are um, below the age of 17 I don't pick up 17 year olds um, but hopefully we can grab somebody somewhere and yeah, nothing in this first stack but hopefully somewhere along the line we'll get something but let's jump into it first team should be ready as I say that and back out and not get to the first team and everybody should be fit and ready to go so let's jump into this game is at home you feel that we really need to win it so let's jump on into it Dortmund inter Champions League let's go Accardi 
rushing forward. I forgot we sold Akardi to Dortmund, so here Akardi is hopefully he's not going to cause us problems as Lukaku gets that forward to Atal, and Atal's going to have an opportunity here. And Atal, can he do something with it? He probably could have played it across, but Eriksen there in the right spot. By the time I thought saw that opening open to a point where we were was an easy finish, didn't get it, but Atal forces a save. Eriksen with the finish. Should be easier than that. I really should slip it across, but I didn't think he would step out of that path, and he did in the end. But Ericsson finishing it off, and a really, really, really good start for us here. Ericsson, another goal to his name. He's been scoring and scoring and scoring, and he is on fire, and he gives us an early lead here, and that's the start, the exact start we wanted. Now, if only we can finish this with a win and keep... Now that we remember that Icardi's here, let's see if we can keep Icardi off the clean, uh, off the <laughs> off the score sheet as well. It's Ericsson coming forward, starting so so well, of course, with the goal. And he play it forward, he can. Is Lataro Martinez slips it back inside? Can we get it through to Lukaku? And Lukaku's on side. And Lukaku, he's finished it as well. And what a start we've made here too. It's two nil inside eleven minutes. Lukaku with the finish. It's a good run from him. And that's a lovely goal as well. Making up for that poor <laughs> attempt last time out. With a good finish here. And Dortmund on the ropes early. And what a start we've made here. What a start in such a big game. What a big, big set of goals. What a great start. It's 2-0 inside 11 minutes. It's played on. Atal's here. Atal racing forward. And get it through. Nicely played. And it's Lataro Martinez who's going to go for goal. It's a big block though. And Lataro Martinez blocks it away from the clearance. And he's finished that off. How lucky is that? It's blocked. His original shot is blocked. But then he mets up and blocks the clearance. And then it just falls to him. And he's smashed it home. And we're 3-0 up here. Look at this. It's blocked away. And he goes to clear it. It just hits Martinez in the shoulder. Falls right in his path. Akanji can't quite get back in time. Unlucky for him, but very lucky for Lataro Martinez. And it's 3-0 here in Dortmund. Very close to being knocked out of this game and giving us a massive win. Nicely won. As Brozovic races forward here. Look at Brozovic. Still got a bit of pace about him. Doesn't he? As he comes flying forward and no one steps up and he goes for goals. Blocked and now it's a great save. A great double save really. Uh, the second shot he was on the floor. We didn't really do enough. He was kind of stagnant. The goalkeeper couldn't move and we kind of put it straight at him. But it's a good double save. And it's into Lukaku again. And that is going to be cleared away and out for a goal kick. What a, what a half we've played. That's Hal racing forward now. Looking for somebody, and that pass back is not great, is it? Can we step up on him? No, we cannot. And he comes in, and it's a good finish from Schultz. And that is all our own doing, and that is not what we wanted to do. Let them back into the game. And they've had all the ball pretty much in this second half to start. Poor giveaway. It's good football, though. It's that diagonal run where they run off the center back that stepped up again. Causing us problems. It's a good finish from Scholes. Ooh, not great. 3-1 here. We have a half hour to go. Turns. Finds Vecino. Vecino rushing forward. Vecino can get it through to Lukaku. And here's Lukaku. And can he seal this game up? Lukaku! He's finished it. And that should be game over here. 4-1 on the 82nd minute. And what a performance today. Really, outside that first 15 minutes of the second half, we've been absolutely dominant over a pretty decent Dortmund team and a team that we've really needed a result from. The pressure was on, and we very much delivered. Lukaku with another. It's a good finish from the big man. And just over the foot, just got to lift it just a touch. And he does. And that should seal this game up. 4-1. Coming forward here. Our Dortmund, that's a good ball here. And he's actually got that shot off and fired it into the back of the net. That's a great finish. And I thought I got my foot in the way there. I really did. Not sure who's finished that off, but it's 4-2. That's a really good finish. 
And it's that run again. That thing causes a lot of problems. We're going to have to see if we can do something about that particular run. But it's Icardi who does get on the score sheet. Doesn't mean anything, so he can celebrate all he likes. It's a good finish from him, but in the long run doesn't mean anything. As we have grabbed a... F you know, we're going to grab an important three points here. We're going to have to play them in a couple weeks' time. Um, we're going to still need to show up for that game. We needed at least four points here. We discussed that already. But getting three already is a good start. And it should, you know, put us in a really good position going forward. And hopefully Barcelona can do us a favor. Maybe Prague if we're... If we're nice enough. But we have to beat Prague a second time too. And we can't lose to them again. As Lukaku gets on it here. It's blocked away. It comes back. And it's a really, really good double save once again. From the man in goal. But it's not going to really mean anything here. Even though the whistle still hasn't blown inexplicably. And there it is. A 4-2 victory over Dortmund in the Champions League. That should put us on 4. And that will put us ahead of Dortmund. I believe they're on 3. Um, and then 6-1 the other way. Um, as I don't see Barcelona on there, as Liverpool wins 6-0. Um, and Napoli beat Salzburg 4-1. It's going to be very, very tough still. We still need to go ahead and show up in the last couple of games in the Champions League group. Otherwise, we still will be knocked out. But obviously, a step in the right direction. A very, very important win for us. And it puts us on track. Um, Gagliardini needs to play more. Fair enough. He hasn't played a ton since he showed up, to be fair. As Esposito moves up to 70 overall. we we'll start moving him onto the bench a little bit more as we go forward, Esposito. Because he's growing very, very well. Gagliardini um, needs to start playing a little bit more. He still has his place in the squad. Maybe we can start him in the game coming. Um... Most of the first team players should be fit, but we can definitely move them into that midfield. And since we're probably going to rotate for the next one, we'll have to see. But a game here against Parma. Three points would be what the doctor ordered. We're going to go ahead and put Gagliardini in there instead of Brozovic, who's been playing relatively well. Um, Farrell can come in as well. Probably going to move him in there for DeVry. You can use a rest. Um, anybody we can bring onto the bench... I think we're good. I think we're okay as it is. Though I kind of want to start Ishak and Lukaku together and see how that works. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Lataro Martinez hasn't scored a ton of goals so far this year. But they've been playing well up front together. But we can go a little bit of a change. So let's jump into it. Inter Parma. Let's keep the streak rolling. Can we break from this? It's Isaac on it here. It's a Lukaku. Turns nicely. It's a good football, and Isaac is making the run here. And Isaac, can he pace away? He can. And Isaac is in on goal here. And Isaac, what a finish. Isaac grabs the goal. And we've <laughs> been redeemed by starting him ahead of Lataro Martinez for this game. It's 1-0, and it's a lovely finish from him. He stepped away there from the center back sliding challenge. Just He's got a bit of pace about him, Isaac. Makes no mistake. And I am saying Isaac a lot, and I want you to know that's because I'm trying to get away from saying Ishak. I'm not sure why I was saying it to begin with. Though, I, well, I know why, because I, I heard that was the way it was called. But a Swedish commenter said, it was Isaac. We're going to keep it at Isaac. And I'm going to have to continue to say, well, you know, Isaac. <laughs> but he's grabbed us up the goal. It's 1-0 after 8 minutes. Gagliardini finds Ericsson. And come forward nicely. And there's one more on here. And Gagliardini, can he finish? Oh, it's a great save. A really good save by the Parma keeper. And it goes out for a corner. Gagliardini almost grabbing himself a goal. And that header comes in, though. And there's the back of the net. And I believe that's Faro who has grabbed the goal there. Is it? I believe that is. I can't. I don't know enough of the faces at the back there um, between Skriniar and such but that is a good header Erickson with the ball in and that's a really good header there Pro goalkeeper could be doing better but you know we'll definitely take it it's a good header should be doing better the goalkeeper it's pretty close to him isn't it but it is Faro. we've bought three players into the team today 
And Gagliardini almost grabbed himself a goal there. Farrow has grabbed himself a goal, and so has Isaac. And everybody repaying our faith and an early 2-0 lead here after 27 minutes. Lukaku. Doing well, Lukaku. Just find a way through. And Erickson can find Lukaku again. And Lukaku does well, cuts back inside. He finishes it off. It's 3-0. And that might be game over. This is probably our best performance so far in an Inter shirt. We have been so dominant from front to back here and Lukaku grabbing himself another and he's been scoring all day today very nicely done it's cut back in there and he cuts back and his long body just takes him around and he finishes it into the bottom corner no chance for the goalkeeper and it's 3-0 just as we're about to enter half time nicely done it's good football here oh what a finish are you kidding me that's gone in Oh, wow, what a goal from Inglese. Inglese, I believe it is. Are you kidding with that strike? It's 3-1. Parma have pulled one back against the run of the entire game, really. But this is a ridiculous finish. First time he's going to hit this, this is going to go right into the corner. It just seems to float into that spot. That's an absurd finish from Inglese. It really is. That is crazy. And it's 3-1 on 55 minutes. Can't really even say too much about it. It's just a good goal. Out wide here. Asamoah can get it to Barella. Look at that football. Lovely stuff. Erickson, he's finished it. Erickson has been so, so good for us. And that is just lovely, lovely football. It restores our three-goal lead where it deserves to be. I believe that's just a little back heel in there to Erickson as well. This is lovely stuff. Yep, oh, Lukaku has just played it off nicely. Erickson, Lukaku, Barella, they've all started the season so, so well. Erickson, the pick of the bunch probably. Lukaku's up there. We've done very, very well for ourselves. And this team is really, really coming together. Corner set to come in. Punched away. It's going to come back to Gervinho. He's come in now, and it's good football, and he's finished that. That's a really good finish as well, and Parma just don't want to go away. 20 minutes to go. It's 4-2. Another really good finish. A little bit of space for the man there. Too much, obviously, but Barilla grabbing himself the goal. It's good stuff here, and there's just space here. He's just been ignored, and that is some finish. He has just lashed that past Tandanovic. It was 70 minutes gone. It's 4-2. Still very much in control. Sensi rushing forward. Does well to hold on to it. We can get it forward to Lataro Martinez. Who gets it back to Erickson. And Erickson, it's blocked. It's going to come back to him, though. Wow, what a save. Oh, that would have killed this game off, though. I mean, there's only two minutes to go. Erickson could, should be scoring, probably. But we are going to come away with another three points here. Um... And hopefully, we're still in decent standing in the league. So that ball out to Lukaku is not very good. And we've played really well here. Two really good goals from Parma have put a little bit of gloss on the scoreline for them. But in reality, we were much, much better than they were. And that first goal was obviously absurd. Even that header could have made it three, really. Um, but yes, much, much better than Parma were. And it's a good win for us. And the players we bought in made a real impact in the team Farrow of course grabbing the goal off the corner Lukaku with a goal um, of course but Isaac grabbed himself a goal Farrow grabbed himself a goal Gagliardini was in there causing problems and Erickson of course he's just started the year so so well and it's starting <laughs> it's really showing we're going to take a look in a minute about um, or we're going to take a look at how everything is going in that sense. Expect more from me. Politafo or Politano wants to play more, which is fair. It's so tough to take Ericsson out of the team, though. So we're going to go to the squad hub right here and take a look at the stats is what I was getting at of just a couple of players. Uh, Mattel started pretty well. Brozovic, Barella is having a good year. Ericsson, 10 games, 6 goals, 2 assists. Um, 
Politano has seven appearances and five goals. It's a good start for him as well. And then uh, Isaac, eight appearances, three goals. Lataro, 15 appearances, eight goals, eight assists. Um, and Lukaku has six goals and five assists. He's gotten most of his goals today. And as Lataro kind of didn't score his goals today, you know, Lukaku picked up the slack. So that's how we need it to be. If we're going to play two strikers up front, if one's off, the other one just has to be on. And so far this year, you know, as you saw, 14 goals and 13 assists between the two and 15 appearances is it's pretty good. It's uh, not too, too bad. But as you can see, we are fourth. Roma continue to win. Um, we are one point back of Inter. Or not one point back of Inter. We are Inter. We are level with Milan. And then one point back of Juve. And then five points back of Roma with a game in hand. As you can see, Atalanta have moved up into that spot. We were talking about them. Um, Napoli have dropped a little bit. So there are some good teams here. Atalanta go to Napoli and win that game. Um, and then... Juve only draw away to Lecce, which is a, not a great result for them. But we are in the title race. That's where we want to be. We have to win these three trophies to move on to the next team. So, you know, we just got to be alert, ready. We've got to be playing on top of our game in this in this division, you know, on top of our game at all times. Um, next episode, though, as we see there, Brescia, Bologna, Dortmund, and Verona. Not sure who is the lowest of the bunch it is Brescia so we're probably gonna sim the Brescia game and then play the others um, but a decent crop of games but obviously a big old game in there with Dortmund um, and we can take a look at the Champions League group to see how big that game is as you can see we're one point ahead of them we're gonna play them right here for the last time uh, Barca are five points ahead on nine you have to assume they are going to go through so we got to beat Dortmund out and hopefully you know if we get a draw then Barca can do us a little bit of a favor going forward, or Slavia Prague can do us a little bit of a favor going forward, but we cannot lose that game next episode, guys. But I hope you folks have, of course, enjoyed it. It's been a long episode. It's been a good episode. Some good wins in there. Some good results. But as I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. And peace.